Welcome to Hip to Food guys, I'm Oscar Moon. Today we're gonna make asparagus risotto. For that we have risotto, obviously. All grown by the polar bears in the Sweden. Uh, that's a lie. But we also have the Avorio rice, about two deciliters or something. We're gonna use shallots, four of those. And uh, well, basically the recipe says one clove of garlic. So I'm gonna use, I have one, but I'm gonna pick that up and we make it two, all right? Ta-da! We also need butter, salt, pepper, chicken stock, white wine. First off, I'm gonna chop up these shallots like a maniac. Wow, I'm crying like crazy. You know, shallots, they're actually grown on trees. Uh, that's a lie. And uh, you can buy them at, you know, frozen yogurt places and uh, trampoline stores. With one deciliter, maybe, <laughs> of olive oil. Now usually I'd like to heat this up to high temperature. You just chop these up, chop this up, put the garlic in a pan with shallots. And now you want to heat this up, stir it around, make sure it doesn't burn, but you know, whisk it around a bit, make sure they get acquainted. While you're waiting for the onions to fry a bit, you can always uh, make some parmesan. This is not parmesan. Now that's parmesan. And just make parmesan. Just keep making it. Well, that's enough. It's time to add the rice. You want to add this and then stir it, stir it, stir it. You want to fry it, but you don't want to burn it, right? <coughs> you want the rice to get sort of uh, shiny. Not soft, but you know, shiny and beautiful and mixed together with the shallots and the garlic. So uh, that would take about a couple of minutes. And uh, after that you pour some wine on it. I should have gotten like a real white wine from Systembolaget that we have in Sweden. But since it's the weekend, that shop closes early, man. Cooking wine, see those cooking wine, white wine. 2.2% alcohol, it works fine, you don't really need that fancy stuff even though we have two deciliters of rice, so the recipe says one deciliter of white wine. I don't really measure stuff, so once the rice is done and shiny and all, I'm just gonna pour some of this in and then you stir and stir and stir until the white wine has vaporized and then it's time for the uh, chicken stock and uh, parmesan butter and uh, but we'll get into that later time to put the wine in the mixture when the white wine is gone you use the chicken stock you pour a little bit at a time and stir 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 a little more stir 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 until the whole thing is gone and the food is crazy good while I'm waiting for the rice, I'd like to cook some of the asparagus. Just chop that off. Cut them in halves. And when I say some of them, I mean all of them, obviously. I've been cooking the asparagus for, I don't know, seven, eight minutes. I think that's enough. I haven't really tried them yet, but what the heck, that's enough. I'd say it's enough. Have a look at this. This is uh, this is amazing. Uh, I can oh, wow. I can feel it's great. So now we're gonna heat up a pan, uh, cast iron pan uh, with butter, and uh, we're gonna fry these high heat quickly. So I want some color on these, and we're gonna sprinkle them with some salt as well. So I'm gonna put this right here, and we we'll get the peat. Uh, the peat. We we'll get the peat running. We we'll get the pan running. The pan is freaking hot, we're gonna add the asparagus, toss them around for about 30 seconds or something, put a little salt on them, toss them around again, 15 seconds, and we're done. Oh, 
I mean, come on. Look at this. Look at this. Awesome. And there you have it, asparagus. Cooked and fried. You know, the thing with Avori rice and the risotto is that you want to have the rice cooked, but you don't want to have it cooked all the way through. You still want that tiny core that makes it chewy enough. So back here we have a risotto that is basically done. I just put a little extra chicken stock on it and this is gonna cook and make the rice perfectly cooked. So when that is done we're gonna use some uh, butter and we're gonna use some uh, parmesan and uh, maybe some salt and pepper and then we're gonna put it right here add some asparagus add some more parmesan and voila asparagus risotto coming up when the risotto looks like this it's basically done what you want to do is add butter and you want to add some uh, parmesan cheese so i'm gonna add uh, i don't know that much and stir it around a bit and use parmesan like a lot I don't usually taste food before I eat it because I trust my instincts and whatnot but when it comes to risotto I have learned throughout the years that tasting the food is kinda kinda important because I always end up wanting more salt or lemon wow that, <laughs> that's awesome but I always feel like half a lemon is like what you need. You don't really need to measure that. It's basically always half a lemon. Especially when it comes to risotto. Stir this around to make the lemon get to know all the rice and all the butter and everything else in here. More salt. More pepper. Oh my god, that's a risotto, <laughs> that is perfect. Okay, what you want to do is put some risotto on a bowl like this. Sprinkle on some parmesan and uh, Asparagus, some more parmesan And just for the sake of it Some black pepper So there you have it Asparagus parmesan made by Oscar Moon here on hip to food make sure to subscribe Make this dish. It's awesome. I'm out